Hello, hello, and welcome back to Morble Blast Gorald. We're still, we're still in that Set. same recording session trying this Go. game out, or this level out. Yeah, we're just taught. We were just talking about how when music cuts out in a game, it's the most horrific experience ever. Set. Sometimes. Go. Like, cause like, when you have the music, you get, you, you almost forget it's there. It blends into the background. Ready. But then, when it Set. vanishes, you realize Go. it's gone, and like you can feel something's missing, and it feels like something's not right. Something feels wrong. Ready. You know. Set. Go! I would love to design a fake out horror game, like one that, you know, the idea is you get Ready. your friends to play it and you make them Set. think like, oh, you know, this is just a Go. new fun game. But then like it becomes a horror game partway through, like pull the fuck in. I'm gonna spoil this one because now the Steam Ready. page itself has been forced to spoil Set. it. Doki Doki Go. Literature Club is a good example. The reason I'm doing so recklessly in case people uh, forgot Set. is that this level has a 1 minute Go. 45 second time limit. So, like, I have to do this shit as fast as I can. Because the level is just long enough that you can barely get there. Oh yeah, Doki Doki Ready. Literature Club, it's like... Set. God, genuinely, de like, depressing and genuinely fucking genius, like, writing, like... Hmm. Alright, Doki Doki Literature Ready. Club spoilers coming ahead. Uh, if you're part of the Go. small population that's somehow not gotten spoiled on that game, feel free to leave now. But, like, I love Ready. the concept of a char like Go. digital character realizing they're a digital character, sort of accepting it, and then also falling in love with the person playing the game but being upset because they Set. aren't... Go! They can't ever be the one being loved because it's not what their lot in life is supposed to be. Like, God, that's so interesting. You know, just from like a perspective of like, like the villain, I forget her name, is like a, a very interesting character to analyze Ready. on that level. Set. You know, Go! once you get past the horror of it and real, like, just look at the the writing. She's a really fascinating fucking character. I love games that make you stop and, like, think about, um, fuck. Ready. the, the Set. characters in the games, Go. like, as people in a way, or as living creatures, that make you connect with your fiction on a whole new level, Ready. and, uh, Doki Doki does that. Go! Man, also, a game that lives next to Doki Doki Literature Club in my head is Yandere Simulator, and it's such a shame the Yandere Simulator guy is a fucking piece of shit pedophile, because he was making what I think was genuinely a really interesting concept of a game. Like, Hitman in a high school where you play as a Yandere. Very fucking cool conceptually. It's a shame it was being made by a fucking degenerate piece of garbage. Like, I want more Hitman-y type games. I should play through the Hitman games on my channel someday. Yep, Ready. piece of fucking garbage. Set. Go. Uh. Ooh, this is a good opportunity Ready. to talk about one of my favorite fucking Set. people of all time. I Go. wish I could remember the guy's name. Um, the man who was arrested, the pedophile serial killer. He was a serial Ready. killer who killed pedophiles. He lived in Canada. He would go online, pretend to be young boys, get targeted by pedophiles, and then, like, you know, they'd show up and they'd be like, oh, fuck, is this, like, a uh, 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 to catch a predator situation? He'd be like, <laughs> worse. And then he'd murder them and throw their body in the ocean. Ready, set, go! Great, great person. He went to jail and has served his time. He got out of jail early on good behavior. <laughs> yep. 
he's since commented on the situation. He's like, yeah, in hindsight, I realized that, you know, Gold Vigilante Murderer wasn't the right thing to do. Now I work with authorities helping them catch predators instead. That's the better way to do Set. it. But also, Go. I don't think anybody is really mad at him for killing a bunch of pedophiles. Now, let me be clear. Do I think any criminal, any kind of criminal at all, deserves to die? No. Because I'd much rather they rot away in prison, in solitary confinement, being forced to think about what they've done, and regularly getting shanked by fellow prisoners who understand what a piece of garbage they are. You know? Exactly. Like, uh, oh man, I just get this guy on my YouTube shorts all the time who's like a formal, former convict, and he regularly talks about how, like, if you were ever having a bad day in prison, you could just walk up to the nearest pedophile and start stabbing him. The guards are doing that pretty. Set! As it should be. Go! Uh, cuz. You know. Rape is already one of the most unforgivable crimes in the world. The rape of a minor is even more unforgivable. Oh, aren't we touching on some wonderful subjects from the first six Set. minutes of this episode of Marble Blast Go. Gold? Hey, let's, let's reel it back and not talk about such depressing things. So, has anybody seen Quiet on Set? Ready. Okay, Set. now we're moving on. I'm sorry about Go. that. Let's not talk about the scum of the earth. Ready! Um, Set! Go! What do I want to talk about instead? Careful, careful, careful. Careful, careful. See, now my brain is detracted. I, just all, uh, I can't think of what Set. else I want to talk about. Go! Oh, fuck yeah, Amazing Digital Circus episode 2 is good. good. I think it's Ready. been long enough now that Set. I can talk about it by the time it's going on YouTube. And I'm just going to say, if you haven't seen it, go watch episode 1 and 2 of Amazing Digital Circus right now. They're both free on YouTube, and it's an amazing little show. Ready. Uh, I'm just going to talk about Set. episode 2 without much context, go. assuming that right now you you paused this and gone and watched the, both the first two episodes, because, you know, they're only about 30 minutes a pop. It doesn't take that long to watch. Ready. Set. God, I love the, the gummy, the gummy alligator character. What a fucking boy! I love. I saw a comic where it's uh, somebody redrew this scene Set. in. Oh, Go. you know, I don't know if I want to spoil it because it's, it's a scene from an end of a comic. Uh, they, Alsby has undescriptive the can while also making it clear. Famous comic book in which at the very Ready. end of it, one of the main Set. characters completely fucking Go. obliterates another person with their mind powers. Uh, it's a very famous comic book that this happens in. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. Ready! Uh, Set! Clocks go. are involved. There we go, that's all I'm gonna say. I saw somebody recreate that panel from that that comic book with the Amazing Digital Circus, and it had me- I fucking died laughing, it's perfect. I know there's a bunch of people theorizing after the end Ready. of the last episode that, oh, maybe Set. Jax is actually an NPC. Uh, but I don't believe it. I think Jax is a person. I don't think any of our main cast are NPCs. I think that was just a funny little bit. Ready. Yeah. Set. Uh, and Go. my two favorite Amazing Digital Circus jokes. One of them comes from episode two, and one of them comes from the merchandise ad. Ready. One is the... Set. A whole entire kingdom Go. made of candy. That sounds sticky. It certainly does bubble. That sounds beep. Ready, set, go. Oh, you can't say that. <laughs> and um, ready, yeah, but set, you can't say that. Go. And the other one is from their ad where it's uh. You can get all sorts of amazing products, like this palm knee pin, Ready. or this bubble Set. pin, or... Go! <laughs> if you've seen the ad, you know the scene I'm talking about, and it has me fucking in tears. Just thinking about it. I gotta keep my voice down, because it's like 4 a.m. and I'm raising my voice, because I'm laughing, trying not to laugh so hard. Oh, God. It's so good. Set. I love amazing to do this, because I cannot wait for more episodes. 
show is absolutely fucking fantastic. And man, you know, I sort of glossed over it in my first viewing, but Ragatha gets the fucking shit kicked out of her. I have two theories about Kane. One, he's either an AI construct in control of this whole world, or he is the creator of the world stuck in it as well, and he's doing this in order to maintain everyone's sanity because he also doesn't know how to get out. Ready. Or he's a crazy person who is in there and knows how to get out of this whole people hostage for his entertainment. That's the one I think it's least likely to be. Part of this comes from that in the first episode. Um, we see that the we see what I presume is glimpses of what the real world looked like, and we're seeing, like, some sort of office space with C and L written on a lot of things. And, you know, his name is Kane. So... Or no, C and I, I mean, not C and L. C and I. So I think... No, no, C, C and A. What am I saying? Why am I fucking fucking Go! up my letters? Because I'm trying to focus on the Marvel game at the same time. C and A, yes. So I think it's supposed to be Kane and Abel. Ready! Yeah. Set! Go! Double kill reference, haha. Which, um, I'm gonna quickly say, I'm in no way religious, but have y'all ever actually, like, read the Bible? It, it's a really fucking good set of mythology. It's very fucking awesome, and I wish we had more, like, video games based Ready. on the Bible. Set! Go! That makes sense. I can see that. I don't know if that's true, but I can see that reading. Ready! Set! Go! God, I have no mouth to scream is another fucking amazing story. Oh my god. Uh, you know, when I was listing my favorite books a few episodes ago, I forgot that book even existed because it always sits more as a video game in my head, but uh, in particular, I love the fucking audiobook from the original author. It's such a good fucking audiobook. And the radio drama, oh my god, I have no other way to scream this top tier writing, it's beautiful. And, oh, if anybody knows the ending of the actual book, oh my god, the ending of the book, the hey monologue from the audio drama is so good. The actual ending of the book is such a fucking... That, the ending of that book gets my blood pumping every time I think about it. Uh, oh no! Ready! If I get there Set. again, I'm gonna try something crazy. Go. Damn it! Ready! Set! Yeah. Go! It's such a it's such a well written character. Why did I jump? That's gonna make this so much harder. Oh no, it didn't make it too much harder. Nope, never mind. It's Ready, set, and you're like Go! the name of Am is so good because it's so fucking layered. Allied Master Computer. Uh, like oh, I forget what the other abbreviations are, but then the ultimate meaning of it, I think. Therefore, I am. Ready. Set! Go! Yeah. M is one of my favorite fucking fictional villains. Just because it's so well written. Back in the day, I would have put uh, Handsome Jack up there on my list, but I think as time has gone on, like, he doesn't quite sit up there anymore because he doesn't go much deeper than Ready. Funny Man. And Set. yes, I know he does if you play the pre-sequel, but let's be real. Handsome Jack's primary purpose was to be he he Funny Man. When you compare him to actually incredible Ready. villains, like... Set! Go! Eh, Hell 9000 isn't the most interesting villain to me because he's not nearly as compelling as a character like I am. Ready! Set. Honestly... Go! I feel like I'm gonna put this, put this with this, but... The villain from... Uh, Wally is just a better version Ready. of HAL 9000, a better written Set. HAL 9000. Go. And boy oh boy, other people are gonna be mad at me for saying that the villain from Wally is better written from the villain from Space Odyssey. Ready! Set! Go! Like I said, I, 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 I like HAL, but I just think he's been better iterated on since, it, since his creation is the issue. 
for his time, incredible, but he's just been, there's been better things that took inspiration from him. But then again, it's been a long time since I saw 2001, maybe I'm not remembering it as well as, it, as good as it actually is. I was pretty young when I watched that film, and I've not ever read the book. Yeah. Gyrocopter. I, I I definitely say Am Content is one of the best villains in all of fiction. Time travel. Oh fuck me no. Ready. It's always so painful. Set. I'll shoot that part. Go. at this level for so fucking long. Y'all can't blame me for give, at least giving it the old college try if I do end up quitting. Because I have been going at this for a while. Ready! Set! Go! I remember like, genuinely putting my whole bussy into this shit, you know? Man, I used to have a friend Ready. who used that terminology a Set. lot. I wonder how they're doing. Go! Uh, putting your whole bussy into it. He was a fun fella. Very anxiety riddled. I really hope he's gotten better. Ready! Set! Go! Come on. Damn it. Okay. getting faster and faster with this every time as well, I feel like. More or less, at least. Gyrocopter. Time travel. Yes! Oh, that was a good move. Crazy maneuver worked. Oh, it's fucking satisfying. Old time is 25 seconds. Fuck <laughs> you. And you know what? We have enough time in this episode to take a peek at the twisting night, uh, twisting the night away. Don't stay up all night trying to finish. <laughs> Burn that away on the last one. Ready, buddy. set, go. I don't think there was a time limit on this one. So far, not looking too bad. Come on. Careful. Super jump. All right, those are bumpers, so be careful in landmines. Oh shit. That was fun. Ready! One more try. Set! Go! Do those have platforms on top? 
honestly better fucking not. If I have to platform on those spinny bitches, I'm gonna be so upset. Alright, well, next time on Marvel Blast Gold, we'll be given Twisting the Night away. Hope you've all been enjoying this episode, and cards will be appearing in this moment. Love all you very, very much, and ta-ta for now!